Right, so good afternoon everybody. Um, here I'm going to be showing a little peak project. This is intended for the co-design module, uh, which is the control of a, an emu uh, robot arm. I think there's some stuff on the, uh, the website before this talking about that. Um, for this we were meant to use, for coin to the spec, the DEO boards, but I'm more of a, a PIC person, so we ended up using this. Now this is the PIC uh, 16F877A. Now, as always, I've got my little voltage regulator. I'm um, programming this with the ICD3, which is just there. Um, using the 2ADC, what is that? I think it's about 4 ADCs on this pick, but I'm using ACOM 0 and ACOM 1. Um, I'm using two of the ADC uh, pins for the two axes of this little analog joystick. And I've created a little copper strip board, which is just here, uh, showing you some sort of directional uh, LEDs, basically. And it's reading off the value from the ADC. Uh, you can obviously easily control the output, so I can go forward, I can go backwards, I can go left, and I can go right. There we go, that works really well. Um, there's also a, a little clicker, however this joystick's a little bit faulty sadly, so that doesn't work yet, but just for the sake of it I popped a little PTM on the board to give you an idea, I'm just reading from a pin. This gives you a flash when you hold it down with a slight delay. And I've also got a little LED banging away over here uh, with a little delay routine. So um, that was simple enough, Just uh, all those are just from the bi-directional pins on the PIC, there's plenty of those on this 40 pin module, uh, but obviously for uh, more uh, critical systems or more uh, systems where you have to be uh, more involved, you're going to need more pins. So here is a, uh, a little port expander, as you can see a little simple cobble strip board. Um, this one is the, uh, where are we, uh, MCP23017. It's got two banks, A and B, uh, each with eight pins. Um, obviously this little directional board has got nine LEDs on it, but it doesn't matter for the sake of it for now. I'll just run it off there. Uh, most on one bank and then one pin on, it on the other bank. Uh, I've been using header pins everywhere to keep it nice and easy. If anyone wants to have a go at doing anything like this, I always suggest use, you can use um, breadboard if you want to. But I find with breadboarding it's very easy that if you walk away for a while and a cable pops out and something goes wrong and then you spend half an hour trying to work out what's popped out and you waste time so by spending an extra five minutes copper strip boarding at the beginning um, I think it's going to change so uh, it's a bit of peace of mind and also in the future um, by creating lots of little individual copper strip boards with um, head of header pins if you want to prototype anything else it's there and waiting and already all you've got to do is connect it up so uh, that's why I always use those uh, but yes that is it really uh, I'll put another video up later on to let you know how I got on with the, uh, the port expander that the other way that just uses two data lines, the SDA and SCLL lines, I think, from the PIC. And obviously you have then control over 16 um, bidirectional pins. There's also some interrupts on these pins, um, and I think there are various other things on there as well. So I need to look into that just to give you an idea. Anyway, thanks for watching, and um, I will see you later, I guess.